What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're having an amazing Friday. Today I'm gonna today we are starting review weekend. Review weekend is gonna be Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week. And I'm gonna be finishing up my Cedar Point roller coaster reviews. So yeah, today we are starting off with Gemini. Now Gemini is an aerodynamics dueling coaster so yeah it is a hybrid it has wooden supports and steel track and it duels so of course I'll be giving you my review of that at the minute mark but if you guys enjoy my videos make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications because it will really help me out and also drop a like it's super easy to just hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and the notification button. It's so easy, guys. But anyways, let's get right into it. So, Gemini at Cedar Point is a dueling aerodyn aerodynamics hyper hyper hybrid roller coaster, which has steel track and wooden supports. It, it is a racing roller coaster. What? I went to my first visit in 2017, unfortunately it was not dueling, but this visit it was dueling and it was so fun dueling. I, some some of my family would go on, on blue side and some of my family would go on orange side and we loved to race each other, give each other high fives as we pass each other. We absolutely loved it. That ride, Gemini is so underrated at Cedar Point. Like, so underrated. And I know a lot of other enthusiasts say that too. This roller coaster is pretty underrated. And it is. And, and to all the people who say, oh, God, only blue wins. Well, it also, I learned, I said the same exact thing, but after this visit, I've learned it really depends on how much weight is on your train. The more the more weight, the faster you go, and it could be up the other way around. And then the less weight, the slower you go. But yeah, I went on blue and I went on orange on both sides, and I won on I won on blue two times I believe maybe three, and I won on orange one. Orange zero, I mean one time. Sorry, guys. I went on orange one time. So yeah, blue does win more often, but blue is the more attractive train. It's a lot brighter than the orange is red, so it attracts more people, and that train gets more weight. And Gemini is also pretty taller than Gemini is actually pretty tall. Than it feels taller than it actually looks. It really does, and. I got some good air time on all those air time hills on that ride and I got I got I got even some tiny ejector on the first drop I was very surprised I got some ejector in the first drive drop of Gemini <laughs> it was very weird but yeah Gemini is my I can choose pie on the roller coasters I rode there Probably my second most favorite roller coaster there, um, with Millennium Force being in first place. Um, so yeah. Next time I go, I had some fears this time. Next time I'm I go, I'm gonna go on every single ride there. So I'll have re updated reviews for the rides I've done. Like this is my second review of Gemini, but this is an updated review. Because my other review of Gemini was way back in 2017. Well, it wasn't posted in 2017, but it was way back in 2017. And I think my review of Gemini was my third video I, I ever did on this channel. And this is 177th video, I think, on this channel. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Of course, I'll have another review coming out for you guys tomorrow of Millennium Force. I f felt like Millennium Force would be a good roller coaster for a Saturday review. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'll see you next time. Bye.